Hello everyone, welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about integral. The problem that we are going to see includes some sub-problems that can be appeared in different mass competitions including JE mass and also some problems similar to what we had before for integration B preparation. Let's see what we have in this video. This is the problem that we need to evaluate. Integral of sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx. As simple as is, but you are going to see it includes multiple sub-problems that we need to solve. Let's see how we are going to solve it. But before moving forward to talk about the solution, as usual, make sure that you pause the video to think about it, and then we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, I'm going to rewrite this fraction in another form. I'm going to write sine of x as 1 plus sine of x minus 1. This is going to be for what I have for denominator of this fraction. I'm going to keep the denominator as is. Now I have 1 plus sine of x minus 1. Let's keep 1 plus sine of x as is and minus 1 as another term. Then after applying this fraction, you are going to see I need to evaluate the integral of 1 minus 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. Now the first term is easy. We need to focus on the second term. Focusing on the second term, we need to evaluate the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. I'm going to rewrite it by multiplying 1 minus sine of x in both top and bottom of this fraction. For the top, I'm going to have 1 minus sine of x. And then for the bottom, I'm going to have 1 plus sine of x times 1 minus sine of x, which is going to be 1 minus sine squared of x. Now, 1 minus sine squared of x is just cosine squared of x. I'm going to keep the up as is. Now, we need to split the term into two terms, 1 over cosine squared of x minus sine of x over cosine squared of x. Let's see how we are going to find this, but we are going to solve these two sub-problems in two different sections. Let's focus on the first part. Remember, we wanted to find the integral of 1 over cosine squared of x. To do this, I'm going to use what you are seeing here. First of all, let's focus on getting tangent of x as the function and then trying to get the derivative of this function. The derivative of tan of x can be replaced with the derivative of sine of x over cosine of x with respect to x. To do this, I'm going to do what I have here. So, the derivative of sine of x times cosine of x minus the derivative of cosine of x times sine of x over cosine squared of x is going to be something that I need to have. The derivative of sine of x is just cosine of x, and the derivative of cosine of x is just negative sine of x. After doing some algebraic simplification, you will see that we will end up with cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. What I have on the top is just 1, and then I have 1 over cosine squared of x. So we can say that the integral of 1 over cosine squared of x is tan of x plus a constant c. Now let's focus on the second part of the problem. We wanted to find the integral of tan of x over cosine of x dx. To do this, I'm going to use what you are seeing here. So let's start with getting the derivative of 1 over cosine of x with respect to 
x. If you apply the derivative rules, you are going to see that we will have sine of x over cosine squared of x, which is exactly what we wanted to have. We wanted to find the integral of sine of x over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x. It's going to be secant of x plus another constant like c. Now let's put everything together. We start with finding what we are going to have for integral of sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx. We first replace sine of x in the top with 1 plus sine of x minus 1. And then we showed that the integral is going to be integral of 1 minus 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. The integral of 1 dx is just x. And we show how to calculate the integral of dx over 1 plus sine of x. Putting everything together, we will have x minus tan of x plus secant of x plus a constant c. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.